Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, my sports to the bone family. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Yes, my peeps, first things first, thank you all for clicking and checking this one out. So a couple of stories to take a look at in this one. Now, earlier today, CWI sent out some information that our assistant coach, Floyd Reefer, was actually struck in the face by a ball and would have you know would have to go through some surgical procedure so going to talk about that plus we see where a representative from CWI actually spoke to the media and he was saying that you know they can't really understand how India you know how they are doing things because they are yet to confirm their their arrival date for the uh, multi-format tour I guess they want to make sure that everything is in place and they set up everything um, for when they land but um, as of today, they haven't heard anything. Plus, we're also going to be taking a look at the United States of America pacer, uh, Kyle Phillips. He actually played against the West Indies the other day. He has been provisionally suspended by the ICC. Well, they, 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 they ban him from bowling effective immediate um, until they, they, you know, they, they do further testing of the action and they remodel it or whatever. So we're going to look at that. Just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section all right so um as i said earlier today you know cwi sent out some information that our assistant coach floyd reefer was struck in the face we already knew about um yannick Karaya. you know they sent out the information that they had you know they're gonna have to do some surgical procedure um, where the nose is concerned and then you know monitor him for a period of time but after that news came out we saw some information coming out that the assistant coach was actually struck in the face also and um you know he will have to undergo some 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 surgical procedure also why well, it really tough my viewers and subscribers you know but as we continue the road to the odi world cup we are wishing these guys speedy recovery and you know we hope that the procedure go well and everything so they can come around and, and, and be back with the team. Um, yeah, so shout out, shout out to them. Now, the main thing that I want to talk about in this one now, I'm taking this one from Sportsmax and the headline says, the headline says, CWI senior manager Roland Holder describes India as, quote, peculiar, right? End quote. They say, in making arrangements. It says they have yet to confirm arrival date for the Caribbean tour. And this information was sent out, um, I think it was yesterday evening. You know, so I was doing some reading even today. And even though India announced their squad at the time of me recording this, I, I didn't see anything of them, you know, saying they will arrive at this time. So let me go through it now. So the article says, senior manager uh, for Cricket West Indies, Roland Holler, has described um, India as very pe peculiar in making their arrangements after confirming that they are they have yet to confirm when they will arrive for the tour of the West Indies which is set to start on the 12th right with the first test at the Windsor Park uh, cricket ground in Dominica so they are yet to confirm now as we know they, they want to make sure that they set certain things you know not only the CWI but they have to be in, in dialogue with um, the sports people, you know, people that are in charge of tourism and all of them things to make sure that, you know, everything is, is up and running and ready. The groundsmen want to, well, the groundsmen know that the, the first game is whenever, but if you're going to host a team, you know, you definitely want to know when the team is arriving so you can put things in place to make sure that they are comfortable when they, re when they reach. So this is Hola, and I quote, they are still working through their flight options but they are anticipating arriving on July 1st, right? They are anticipating arriving on July the 1st. And as I said, the, the, the first game um, starts on the 12th. So they are anticipating arriving on the 1st, but they are yet to confirm that, yes, that is what is going to happen. Um, he went on to say it varies from country to country, right? He said India are very peculiar in making their arrangements and uh, things are subject to change with them very often they say you don't always get the uh, confirmations you need uh in your time 
right? You will probably get it in their time. <laughs> I guess that is why we have to be waiting on certain things where the ODI World Cup is concerned. Probably they are waiting to give us it in their time. Um, he went on to say they didn't confirm, so we couldn't um, confirm when they will arrive in the last few days, right? So they were asking, uh, they went further to say if they themselves, as in CWI, knows anything outside of what the team would have said. And the man said, no, we can't confirm nothing that we weren't told. So it seems as if India like to make a, dram a, a dramatic um, entrance in anything that they are doing. So we're going to keep monitoring this and, you know, hopefully everything will work out. At the end of the day, once they arrive, they arrive. You understand? <laughs> As I said, you want to make sure that you put everything in place and make sure that you have enough time. You understand? Without rushing, so the guys can be comfortable when they when they arrive. But you know, um, they, they 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 have to know. Yeah, they have to know. So the final story before we go, Kyle Phillip. You know, the pacer from uh, the United States of America. Um, he has been suspended from bowling in international cricket with immediate effect. Taking this one from the ESPN Crick Info website, but it is all over the place, all over social media, different websites have it. You know, they are saying that um, the match officials actually reported him um, in the game against West Indies. You know, you guys would remember that he took three wickets against us, three for 56. So, you know, um, yeah, man, they... they, they, they had a suspicion where his action is concerned, so they reported it, and ICC apparently has looked at it and they have decided to, 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 to ban him immediately, to suspend him immediately until uh, I guess you know they're gonna analyze the footages more more deeply. Um if that if you can say it that way, and you know, then probably he's gonna have to remodel his action and all of that. So you know, um really tough, really tough on the United States of America. Um, you know, he's he's one of the, the, the better pacers that they he's one of the best better ones that they have going on there. You know, so um it's it's really sad to see that that has happened. But hopefully things will work out. That is basically it for this one, my viewers and subscribers. Oh, I don't know how many of you guys are following the um ashes. One heap of true word back and forth, back and forth between between um between England and um Australia. Ricky Ponting get involved against Oli Pope. Um, Matthew Hayden even got involved. Quite a few of them got involved, my viewers and subscribers. So, you know, we can't wait for the second um, game. We're going to continue to monitor it and keep you guys up to date. Sports to the bone. Keeping it informed. Remember, tomorrow, West Indies do battle against Zimbabwe. Stay tuned for all your updates. Big up.